Hello and welcome to the video. I've only recently been introduced to the exchange FTX which has been gaining a lot of traction lately. Currently the main sites I use, not counting DeFi, are Binance, Deribit and Bitfinex. But I'm always on the lookout for a new site that offers something more, whether that be lower fees, more functionality, innovative products, or it's even just good to find an exchange that's as good as the next one so you can spread your risk around. In this video, I look at some of the things that drew my eye to FTX as they may also interest you. But it'll be fairly light on details, I'll leave that until I've had more time on the site so I can make some videos going a bit deeper on certain aspects. If anything you see in this video gets you interested in signing up to FTX, I do have an affiliate link in the description below that'll get you 5% off your fees. Links like these are the lifeblood of a YouTuber like me, but I can honestly say that you're crazy if you don't use them. It doesn't have to be mine, but use someone's as otherwise you're throwing away money. The first thing I'd like to talk about is trust. It's always important when using a new site. I won't be able to give you a definitive statement like they are trustworthy. I can't do that and I don't do that for any site, but there are some simple things I do to test the site. First, I go to the site and find their about page. It's usually down the bottom of the page just like it is here. I then read through it, I see how professional it seems, check if my personal BS detector goes off, then I like to look at what partners they list. Do I see any sites or companies that I trust? And then I like to do a little more digging. I search to see if I can find links from those companies also calling FTX a partner. In this case, I searched Binance FTX and found this announcement by Binance from a year and a half ago. So they do seem to be some sort of relationship between the two companies. And then I also found FTX are in fact listed as a client of Fenwick and West. So that has already built up some trust. Next, I like to check out CoinMarketCap. They give a score for exchanges partially based on their trustworthiness. FTX is not yet given an exchange score, so they are ranked down the bottom with all other sites that haven't been given a score yet. But one thing we can do is check out some of their volume numbers. And they do in fact compare quite favorably to some of the larger exchanges. If we go into their biggest market, which is Ethereum, and then look at all the markets that trade Ethereum, we can see that FTX is actually the fifth largest trading house for Ethereum and CoinMarketCap rates their confidence in these numbers as high. Anyway, all of that passes the tests enough that I'm willing to put in a small amount of money, but I will be keeping my ears open for any news and I'm willing to change my mind. Okay, with that important detour out of the way, let's look at what excited me about this site. I'm going to break it up into each of their market sections, futures, spot, stocks, leverage tokens, volatility, and prediction. Starting with futures, they offer perpetual futures, which I'm a big fan of. Check out my video on farming the funding rates. You'll find a link up the top right corner. Two things stood out to me uh, when looking at futures. First of all is the number of pairs on offer, some of which I have yet to find on any other site specifically the cake perpetual this could be very useful when combined with DeFi farming to get very high and relatively safe returns if we click into one of the perpetuals we see one of the next things that jumped out at me and that's the fact that they pay funding every hour instead of every eight hours i'm still not sure how this will affect people's trading habits Will it lead to higher or lower yields when funding farming? I don't know, but I am excited to find out. Next up is Spot. Honestly, nothing too interesting here, except maybe the funding ability. If we look at the Ethereum pair as an example, we can see that there's an option to lend out funds. The rates seem quite low, for, low to me. Here they're offering 3% a year for USD stablecoins and then only 0.88% for Ethereum and in fact for Bitcoin. You can get slightly better than that on Binance and it's also quite easy to use. And if you go to the trouble of learning Bitfinex's funding system, you can earn more again. 
But I must admit, funding is one of the big reasons that I want to come to FTX, more specifically the funding when it comes to stocks. Here in the stock section, we can see pairs that have dates on it. Honestly, these aren't actually what interest me most. What I'm looking for is, here's an example here, Tesla USD, the ones without dates on it. These are tokenized stocks. And if we click into it, I'll show you what interests me. We can see here that once again, we can lend out our USD uh, for 3%. Once again, we can lend out Bitcoin. This seems to be on every pair. But here's, here's where it gets interesting. Tesla, I can, I can buy shares, but then I can lend them out for 5% a year. The rates vary greatly depending on the stock. In this case, it's 5%, but in others, it's as low as Bitcoin at 088 but it's much better than the 0% that's available to me as a retail investor everywhere else. And as I do hold positions in some stocks, I'll definitely consider moving here to get that few percent extra because it all adds up. Next up is leveraged tokens. They do have these on Binance as well, but I haven't played around with them much. It seems to me that they are easier ways to use leverage. So good for new users. But if you understand leverage correctly, I do think it's cheaper to manage it yourself. Now, one thing of interest is, I'm not sure I've seen the 0.5% leverage available on Binance. So I definitely wanna think more about them and their use cases. Let me know what you guys think. Are there ways that I should be making use of these products? Now to their volatility section. I'm a big fan of options and I regularly use Deribit, currently dominant in the crypto option space. So I'm happy to see more players come into this space. A quick warning, options is not something you should get into lightly, but they can be greatly rewarding. I'm looking forward to getting to grips with the F FTX's system and seeing if it's worth moving any of my business here from Deribit. Besides offering regular options, they do seem to have some innovative tokens, like a volatility token. But I've just begun looking at it, so I can't really opine about how useful it is yet. They also have a prediction market currently covering four topics, US elections, Brazilian elections, Logan Paul boxing, and whether or not the Olympics will go ahead. I don't see myself putting big money into any of these markets, but I think it is easy to see some of these getting very mispriced and therefore being great opportunities. Personally, I made a small bit of money last year betting Trump would lose the election even after the election was already over. I'm not sure how often opportunities like that will come around, but I'll keep my eyes open for them. The last thing on the list is fairly boring and that's fiat trading or currency trading. Personally, I don't trade these markets for profit. These markets have been around for centuries and large firms pay teams of traders to work around the clock to eke out small gains here. I don't think I can compete with that, so I choose not to play. If you do, I hope you have a good plan and I wish you luck. So that's my first impressions. Let me know what yours are when you check this site out. I'm still new to it, so help me out. What did I miss or what should I avoid using? Once again, if you're looking to sign up to this or any other site, there's lots of affiliate links in the description below. Check them out. Also, down there, you'll find a link to my Discord channel. Everyone's welcome. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.